Hey folks, uh, this lesson is uh, uh, more on segment relationships in circles. So uh, and what are the relationships between segments inside of circles and then secant segments and tangent segments, all that stuff. And don't forget all your lessons can be found at that website. So if you go to that website right there, there it is. Integrated Math 2 is right there. And then scroll down and it'll be put right underneath part, um, this guy right here. So. It's going right underneath part one, okay? Uh, all right, let's get started here. So, um, uh, uh, find X in each. Okay, so when they're intersecting chords, intersecting chords, then um, uh, it's piece times piece equals piece times piece. So, so three times X equals four times six, and we get X equals eight, okay? All right, here, this one, it goes outer times whole, outer times whole, okay? So the whole here is 6 plus 9, which is 15. The whole here is uh, 5 plus x, or x plus 5. So outer times whole, so here's the outer, the 5, times the whole, which is uh, 5 plus x, or x plus 5, and then equals outer times the whole right there, okay? And then distribute and solve for x, and we get 13. Okay, all right, so here, this is a tangent segment, so here we go, uh, outer times whole equals the tangent segment squared, okay, so since the tangent segment is x, I put that on the left, so tangent segment squared equals outer times whole, so here the whole is 4, so x squared equals 1 times 4, and you get x equals uh, 2, okay, in algebra it would be plus or minus 2, but since we're talking length here, it's just 2, okay, so outer times whole equals um, uh, tangent segment squared. So since x is on this uh, secant segment right here, then I did outer times whole on the left right here. Okay, so distribute, okay, and then now we have a quadratic equation. Quadratic equations, we want them to equal zero so we can factor that, okay? So let's go ahead and factor. We know 144 is, is 12 times 12, okay? So I'm looking for factors of 144, one's positive, one's negative, because that's negative 144, that have a difference of 10, okay? So the bigger number is going to be positive. Okay, I'm going to make this 3 times 4, and this guy 2 times 6. And then look, if we mix and match these guys, if I pair these two guys up, 3 times 6 is 18, 4 times 2 is 8, and those guys have a difference of 10 right there. So those are our magic pairs. 18 is going to be positive, 8 is going to be negative right there. So 144 is also equal to 18 times 8. Okay, so now we factor, set the factors equal to 0, and then here we're going to go minus 18, minus 18. Here we go plus 8, plus 8, so we get uh, negative 18 or 8. Okay, and we're talking length, so we can disregard the negative 18, so x equals 8. Okay, all right, so find the measure of the line segment indicated and assume lines that appear tangent are tangent. Okay, so this is um, intersecting chords, so piece times piece equals piece times piece. Lefty times righty equals this one times this one right here. Okay, let's distribute, so then that's just pretty easy out here. And then we're going to uh, subtract 24x and uh, subtract 28. I like to have the X's over here, so if there's any X stuff on the right, I put it on the left. If there's numbers on the left, I put it over here on the right. Okay, so we subtract 28, we subtract 24, those cancel, those cancel. 28X minus 24X is 4X, and then that's going to give us 32, so X equals 8. Okay, now it doesn't say find X, it says find UW. So Here's UW, it's this whole segment right here. So we're going to plug in X equal 8 right there, add 5 and add 12 right there. So UW is that 2X plus 5 plus 12. So when we plug in X equal 8, we get uh, UW to be 33. Okay, this one says uh, same thing. So intersecting chords, uh, piece times piece equals piece times piece, distribute. Okay, we'll subtract 42x from both sides and subtract 12 from both sides. We get x equals 5. Go over here, it says find the length of CA. So CA is this segment, so we'll plug in x equal 5 right there. Okay, so we get uh, 3 plus 3x and then plus that 14. Okay, so... Uh, so I combined these two guys. That's where I got that 17 right there. Okay, so 3 plus 14 is this 17 right here, and then 3 times 5 is going to give us 15, so 17 plus 15 is 32. 
So CA equals 32. All right, this is where we do outer times whole, outer times whole. Okay, so the wholes, we got to add them together. So 8 times 10, or sorry, 8 times 18. Real common error, you guys, and I almost did it right there. People want to do outer times inner, outer times inner. That doesn't work, okay? All right, so when we add 9 plus 2x minus 17, Okay, so 9 plus 2x minus 17 is the same as 2x, and then combine these guys right here, 2x minus 8. So the whole is 2x minus 8. The whole is 18. So here we go. Outer times whole, outer times whole, distribute through. Okay, add 72 to both sides, divide by 18, we get x equals 12. Okay, now we're not finding x, we're finding CE. So CE is the whole segment, 2x minus 8, so we plug in 12 and we get 16 on that, okay? All right, so just to recap, you guys, so if we have uh, intersecting chords, then it goes piece times piece equals piece times piece. 4 times 6 equals 3 times 8, okay? If we have uh, secant segments, then we do outer times the whole outer times the whole right here okay and I put the actual links in there so because uh, 5 times 18 does equal 6 times 15 which is both of them are 90 okay and then uh, here it's outer times whole equals the tangent segment squared 8 times 18 is 144 so is 12 squared all right you guys if you are in our class that's going to be your assignment, and I have it right here, so if you're at home and you need that worksheet, here it is. So there's 1 through 6, okay, and hopefully you're going to pause it. There's 7 through 12. Uh, we're going through 27, so there's uh, 13 through 18, and then uh, uh, 19 through 24, and then finally uh, 25 through 27. All right, take care.